Alright, part two on how to make a maze game. So, we have our maze in here, and we said our goal was going to be to find a character. So in this case, we're going to use Kodu again. And we're going to click on him, and we need, obviously, our Kodu is going to go at the start of our maze, wherever that may be. So I'm going to put Kodu there. And he's going to want to find a Kodu. So let's put another Kodu, I don't know, out here. So first thing first, we got to program the movement for our Kodu, which is easy. We just right-click when the keyboard's pressed, do, move. You can, you know, fiddle around with the specific keys or speeds. That's the first part. Second part is we want this Kodu to now do a couple things. So I'm going to rotate him around. So. Basically, what we want this program to say is that when this Kodu sees the other Kodu, say something, and then end the game. So, the first thing's first. When he sees, and again, you can click on the plus next to it for further details. So, sees Kodu, we can further make it more precise. When he sees Kodu close by... In front of him close by then what should you do he should you go to actions say and you can type in a phrase and I'll make him say oh hi Kodu didn't see you there glad you found me and you hit a and you hit save and he says something now I'm also going to make him say, um, so I'm just going to edit that and say, glad you found me. And then he's going to say, and I have a typo in there, whoops. So after he says that, he's going to say, bump into me to end the game. And we're going to hit save. So now he's saying that, I remember put once. Now we're going to do when bumped do game, win. So, and you're going to refine this and make maybe a character at the front talking, a character at the back talking to, uh, you know, your code over here. So now I'm just going to very quickly uh, change the settings and make him fast so we can get this going. And you're going to do one more thing. So when you get your code, and I'm going to right click and rotate him around, when you are uh, ready to begin the game, you're going to do one more thing. You're going to go back to, um, well, you can just right click and hit change world settings. And you're going to scroll down to the camera mode, click on the one with wings all the way to the right, and hit X and hit set camera. Now, you're going to set the camera exactly how you want it to look. So you can orbit around and find the exact view you want. In relation to the Kodu, and when you found it, you just hit enter. Now the camera will be stuck there when we start. So now I'm going to hit escape. Our camera is the way I wanted it. I'm going to win this game to show you. So, you know, in theory, you'd be wandering around a hard, difficult maze to find. I'm going to go around. Oh, well, look at him. He's right there. He says, Oh, hi, Kodu. I didn't see there. Glad you found me. He should say, um, bump me to move on. Maybe I didn't save that, but when I bump him, he will win. So you may have to edit uh, the speech to say something else. Maybe I have to go back here. So you might have to figure out how that's done. Um, but that will win the game. So that's the basic uh, premise of how to make a maze game.